Dr. Aditya Anil Kulkarni is a director of physical education and sports at ML Danukar College since June 2015. Currently, he is a member of the Board of Sports of the University of Mumbai as well as a member of the Board of Studies of Savitribai Phule Pune University. He is also a secretary of the Mumbai Suburban Zone. He is responsible for the coordinating, managing and conducting of all the 72 intercollegiate competitions on behalf of the University of Mumbai. He has been nominated by the Sports Department of the University of Mumbai as the Chairman of the Selection Committees for various sports like Volleyball, Badminton, Squash, Tennis, Basketball, etc for the formation of the Mumbai University's teams. Dr. Aditya Kulkarni is a gold medalist from the Savitribai Phule Pune University and has broken the records of the last 40 years of the Masters in Physical Education examination of the University of Pune. He has conducted more than 100 activities in the college during the last 7 to 8 years for the promotion of sports and physical education in the Danukar campus. Also, more than 100 students of the Danukar College have represented the Mumbai University at the All India Inter University competitions during the last 7 to 8 years. He has completed the basic mountaineering course from the Himalayan Mountaineering Institute at Darjeeling. He has also organized various treks for the students of the ML Danukar College. He has been coaching the Mumbai University volleyball teams since the last three to four years and has been given the responsibility of being a coach of the Mumbai University volleyball and badminton teams. Dr. Aditya Kulkarni has participated in various competitions such as the school national shooting, All India Inter University netball, and has represented the Pune City Zone, Ferguson College and Parlethilat Vidhyala School in various sports like badminton, volleyball, basketball and handball all across our country. Welcome Vidya Vachaspati, Dr. Aditya Kulkarni. Good morning, myself Dr. Aditya Kulkarni and today I am going to give my presentation about the PhD topic or the PhD thesis which I completed from the Department of Physical Education, University of Mumbai under the guidance of Dr. Vasanti Kadiravan ma'am. I completed this PhD in the year 2019 and before I tell you my PhD thesis and my entire journey about the PhD, 
let me give you the uh, entire process of PhD and how this process actually works in any university. So, this process starts with the PET exam which is conducted for the as an entrance exam in order to uh, conduct the interview for the PhD process. So, as I had cleared this net JRF exam in the year 2013, uh, so I was exempted from this entire process. After which the interviews are conducted at their respective department and the research center from which you get the, the research guide which is being allocated to every student. And all those students who have cleared for the from the PET exam and all those who have cleared the net JRF or the SET exam usually come for the interview. Once you the right research guide is allocated from that particular research center or the department, then you prepare the research proposal in front of the RAC committee which is research advisory committee. Once the suggestion and the guidelines are given by the RAC committee, then you prepare official research proposal in front of RRC committee for the finalization topic. Then if there are any minor suggestion or the correction is there, then the accordingly the topic is finalized and the student is actually registered in that particular center and he can he or she can start the this entire research journey in from that department. Once this student is registered, every 6 months he has to submit the research proposal or the research study which has he has conducted in the last 6 months and he has to present it in front of the guide and considering his suggestion and accordingly he has to conduct this research for the period. In the meantime, the research scholar has also needs to complete the research coursework which is at the respective center. And once this research coursework, the assignment, he has to also present a paper regarding his topic and the research design which he has made and he has to participate in different workshops and the conferences. And after completion of entire this research coursework and the study, he has to present his synopsis before the submission of the final thesis. Once the synopsis is submitted, he can submit the thesis in the 2 months period and after the submission of final thesis, the PhD viva voce is conducted and in the PhD viva voce he has to, he or she has to defend his thesis and after which the PhD degree is awarded from that particular research center and from that university. So, speaking about my research topic which I have selected as the effect of integrated training program on the wholesome development of degree college male student. Before I speak about my topic in general and the history of my topic, let me tell you the facts related to sports and physical education in India and the lifestyle which is being followed in the youth in India. If you consider about the obesity and the diabetic patients all across the globe, then we rank second in the entire globe regarding the diabetic population that we have after the China. We also have highest number of obese children in India and considering the lifestyle of these children, the lifestyle of the youth which is studying in the different institution, the amount of time that they spend on different gadgets, their healthy the habits that is being followed by the adolescent children. So, considering everything that and also there is no such curriculum which is being followed in any of the degree institution for the undergraduate courses although there are different courses different sorry curriculum which is being followed in the schools but there is no such curriculum which is followed in the mumbai university so considering all this constraint and there are also less number of play fields which are available considering the mumbai being the metropolitan city so in these cities there is also there are less number of play fields available so, all these constraints considering this, I felt there is a need to implement a proper integrated training program which would have the different training methods and which would be implemented in the undergraduate courses and that would have more impact on the students physical, mental and the different social variables which I have selected in this study. So, this Integrated training program is nothing but the combination of different training methods and for this study I had selected the circuit training, the aerobics training, 
the resistance training, the treks, different types of asanas. So there were different training methods which were involved and this training was given to the students and accordingly their impact was seen from the pre and posters. So this entire training method, the main purpose of implementing this training method was to assess and to see the actual status of the college going students. It is also has the purpose of transforming their journey into the physical literacy so that the students has the physical competency. They have learned the fundamental motor skills which are required to lead a healthy lifestyle in future. They have the basic motivation and the confidence to be active in life. So this was the motive of this entire integrated training program and hence I have selected this topic which is the effect of integrated training program on the wholesome development of the degree college male students. So the objective of this study were that I wanted to assess the fitness level and the health status of the college going students. Also keeping in view their wholesome development, the objective was also to find the actual effect of training program on their physical attributes, their physiological attributes, their social attributes and their overall psychological different variables which are selected for the study. This entire study or the training program, the purpose behind this training program was also to see their impact of the training on their personality of the students because I had already mentioned that the I wanted to assess the impact of the training on the wholesome development of the students. So there were the personality was also included was also one of the factors which was tested in this study. So there were different hypotheses which were made and it were tested with the help of different statistical tool which were available and accordingly we got the conclusion of the study. Now speaking about the research design, now when we start the research then there are different reviews that we have to take into the consideration. Now there are various studies which have already been done in this training methodology or the circuit training or the impact of uh, endurance training, impact of yogic asanas. So considering all the review of the literature, the research design was finalized. I had used the convenient sampling so for this to see the effect of this integrated training program the 50 students were selected from ML Dahanukar college out of the 4000 entire students strength. They were placed into the two groups this experimental group and the control group. The experimental group is the one on which the training is given and the control group is the one on which the no training or the treatment is given. Before the implementation of the training, the pre-tests were conducted on both control group as well as the experimental group. After the treatment was given, again the tests were conducted for the control group as well as the experimental group. And by using the different statistical tools, the results were analyzed and accordingly the conclusions were made. So this research design is primarily the parallel group experimental design which was used. This was this design was primarily used to test all the variables which I have selected the physical, the physiological, the mental and the social variable were tested with the help of different statistical tool. Now as a part of the independent variable, as a part of this integrated training program as I had mentioned before. The different training methods were combined to form this integrated training program. Now this integrated training program can be done according to the situation, according to the status of the students, according to the scenario, according to the different facilities which are available in the locality, in the institution and nearby the area. So accordingly that training program can be finalized. So considering everything, the status, the nearby facilities available in the campus, outside the campus and the health status of the student 
these five training methods were used and were combined to form this integrated training program which were the cardiovascular endurance training, the resistant training, the circuit training, the combinational training, the yogic practice and also I had conducted few treks to socialize the students. Now there were different variables which were used in the study which were tested. In the physical we had cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, muscular strength and the flexibility. In the physiological I had selected the pulse rate and the forced vital capacity. In the psychological there were various variables which were tested and the social preference, social behavior was tested to assess their social entire behavior and the impact of training on their social attributes. So there were different tests which were conducted to assess these variables for the pre and post testing. Now this integrated training program was conducted in the morning session. This was conducted for 12 weeks. Usually there is a review which is given or the, there are many research articles which are available which states that at least a 12 weeks period for 12 weeks duration any training program should be implemented so as to assess or so as to see the impact of that training program on the students. So this was conducted for 12 weeks every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for 60 minute duration and the different asanas were conducted. There were different training methods, there were different exercises, there was circuit training, there was resistance training, different exercises were chosen. Entire program was discussed with the various experts from the field and by reviewing different literature which was available and accordingly this training pro program was finalized. Now once I had finalized this entire integrated training program after which the pilot study was conducted because once you implement this training program there are various concerns or the limitations that are available and you have to consider those limitations and you have to also see the fitness status of the students. So after conducting this pilot study I could decide the actual intensity of the program. So accordingly this frequency of the any exercise or the intensity or the load which I have to give for any particular exercise or any particular training methods. So that was decided by discussing with the various experts and then after this conducting this pilot study on the student, I actually started conducting this integrated training program for the 12 weeks duration. As you can see, the intensity repetition was decided and it, it was gradually progressing from week to week. After every third week, the intensity was either increased from the frequency point of view or the intensity point of view it was increased. The tests which were conducted are known as the pre-tests which were conducted before the implementation of training program and after the conduct of the training program again the post-tests were conducted on the same experimental group and the control group with the help of the different scientific tools which were available and accordingly the conclusions were made and it was found out that this training had a significant impact on their physical variables which were selected like the cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, muscular strength and the flexibility. There was significant improvement was seen in the experimental group. There was no significant improvement was seen in the control group. Also the different tests which were conducted for assessing their physiological variables even in that parameter there was significant improvement seen in the physiological variables. Now while assessing their personality and the psychological variables there was no such significant improvement that was seen. Maybe the, the students who were from the college they had already developed the kind of personality so there was no such impact of the training on the personality which was seen through the test but whichever the social variables or the social tests which were selected it had shown that there was significant improvement in the social variables and hence accordingly the conclusions were made that this training program had a good impact on students physical, mental and the social variables of the students. So this training integrated training program 
not only helped in transforming the physical literacy journey of the students in this 12 week period but it also helped the students to understand the importance of physical fitness and the different exercises or the training method which were chosen for this integrated training program as there was significant improvement seen in the physical mental and the social be variables the students were happy to know and were happy to understand this entire process and how this training program has benefited their personality so what i have recommended through this study is that there can be a different training methods which can be formed or combined according to the needs of the student according to the objectives of the student according to the status level fitness level fitness status level of the students and the age age uh, the age group of the students according to that this different training methods can be decided and can be combined for this integrated training program and then even though we don't have such curriculum at the college level students but with the help of available infrastructure with the help of available resources with the help of available coaches the training uh, instructors we can conduct such integrated training program at the college level so that the students who are studying at the college level are also benefited from this this integrated training program and they can be educated through this integrated training program and they can be made physically literate so that their entire journey in the future becomes active and they can choose the variety of exercises which they have already performed in this integrated training program so that they can lead a active healthy lifestyle in the future now this study as it was delimited de to only male students the study can also be done in different areas on the female students in the different age groups and it there can be a comparative study that can also be done so that we can compare two different training methods and we can see which integrated training program is more impactful on the students overall development and accordingly the integrated training program can be finalized or can be modified according to the needs of the students so this entire journey of phd and uh, I completed my thesis in the month of April. My PhD viva voce was conducted in the September month, and I was I defended my PhD viva voce, and I was declared as the PhD degree in the month of October. So this entire process wouldn't have been possible without the support of my mentors, my guide, under whom I completed the study. HOD of the Department of Physical Education, Doctor. professor vasanthi kadivaran ma'am her cons consistent support and guidance which has actually helped me in completing the study in time so i want to thank my ma'am for this continuous support which she provided in this entire journey i also want to thank the head of the institution my principal pethe ma'am and bm doke sir who always been the supportive and who always insisted for completing my phd this journey wouldn't have been possible without my the support of my family members my wife my sister my father and also the students who actually participated in this entire study without their support i wouldn't have been wouldn't have got the actual result of this integrated training program so i want to thank my institution the students and the all those who have been involved in this entire process Thank you. Prajnane na sadrusham, pavitram iha vidyate. Prajnane na sadrusham, pavitram iha vidyate. Prajnane na sadrusham, pavitram iha vidyate.